At Stantec, our success is driven by our people, smart, capable professionals with expertise in design, construction, engineering, and technology. We're constantly adapting and innovating to provide cutting edge solutions for the challenges of today and tomorrow. In this series, we're gonna be showcasing some of our most intriguing projects from across the company and the innovative people behind them. First up, we're traveling to Toronto, Ontario to meet a musician who's combined a love of acoustics with artificial intelligence. Welcome to I'm an Innovator. Frank Babbick has been a musician for as long as he can remember. That passion for writing and creating music led to performances on big stages in Ontario, Canada in his youth. The Silver Dollar at uh, Lee's Palace and uh, uh, the Horseshoe musical uh, projects that have actually been at uh, some major sites around Toronto. Frank's concert career continued during his civil engineering studies at the University of Waterloo, where he played in an R&B band called Soul Hammer. I was able to then retool my career from civil engineering into combining the two, music and engineering, and that's where I came to acoustics. Frank's career has included extensive work in noise monitoring, which has led to the development of a construction noise audio classification tool. I looked at the amount of work that we're doing in monitoring specifically, listening to the uh, noise uh, samples that we collect, and there's hundreds and thousands in some cases. We wanted to take uh, hundreds of audio files and categorize them, in this case, uh, from either construction or not construction related uh, sounds. Stantec has a program to foster internal technology-focused innovations. Frank worked with the software development team to build the tool. They developed the algorithm and uh, did the simulations, and we worked with them in terms of uh, running that and developing that into a prototype that we now have. Here's how it works. A sound level meter captures the noise level in a corresponding audio file of the noise when it's above a predetermined threshold at a construction site. The noise level and audio file are sent to the cloud, which hosts the noise data and audio file. The audio file is sent to the AI algorithm, which determines if the noise is construction or non-construction. The algorithm sends the answer back to the cloud, which consolidates all of the info into a summary report to be sent to the client and Stantec's technical team. Frank, there's a loud, active construction site behind us, right in the middle of a densely populated area in the city of Toronto. So where would sound meters typically be located on a site like this? So for a site like this, we look around and see what buildings we have. We look at residential, we look at some commercial, maybe even some performance spaces. We'd identify those and make sure we have a noise meter to represent each of those. We can take thousands of files and turn those over within minutes. So that our clients are able to get that information right away. Is, that, is there an issue with noise? Is it related to their construction? Frank, how accurate is the tool itself in telling you if the noise is construction related or non-construction? Well, we've done some testing with respect to this with uh, uh, thousands of samples that we gave it to train our AI system. With that, we were able to get over 99% accuracy. Is this the final version of the tool or is there another iteration as you continue to develop it in the future? I think it's always a process of continuing to develop the tool. It's the nature of AI. The more information you give, the more it learns and the better it gets. 